Hi, I'm Doc. Hi, I'm Russ. And this is Seaside Online, the week in review. What a week this is. Oh, uh, this week has been hotter than hell. Hell? You have no idea. I was there this week. You went to hell? I went to hell. You know, How was it? Oh, I met this one guy in there and he turns around to me and says, uh, why don't you look so happy? I said, well, I'm in hell. He says, hell? He says, but this is Monday. He says, do you like to drink? I said, well, yeah, once in a while I like to drink a little bit. He said, well, here on Monday, you can get all the booze you want, drink it. You don't have to worry about losing your, losing your liver or getting drunk and sassy, nothing. Just enjoy your drinking. Oh, okay. Then all of a sudden, he turns around to me and says, uh, do you like drugs? I said, well, drugs, yeah, once in a while. I like a little something. He said, well, that's Tuesday. He said, that's all you want. It's fine. But then he says, uh, how do you like the gays? No, how do you like the gays? The gays. I, I, I'm not into gay. Because you're not going to like Wednesday, then. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, those bubbles right coming out of your suit there, Russ? Uh, <laughs> no, not now. <laughs> oh, let me check. No, no, I'm good. All right. And uh, this week, the uh, bakery had Gary Somers over there from uh, Antiques and Collectibles. And uh, Russ, you've got a few antiques in the house. Yeah, my wife. I'm not talking about your wife. No, no, no. I mean, uh... Wife's things, not the <laughs> oh, wife. Oh, okay. The wife's things. I brought a, uh, a pitchfork, a rake, and a, a, a wooden clamp. It was all out of wood. And uh, he, he was very, very uh, advising on it. He said, the rake was here. Yeah, I think we got it here on film, Russ. Check it out. Take care. Oh, yeah, well, <clears throat> do your thing, my friend. Hi everybody, we're over here getting a few things appraised. Um, this here is Gary. Summer? We'll call it Summers, like Summer. summertime. Okay. Gary Summers. Gary Summers, okay. These are a few things I had in my house, and I understand you can appraise almost anything, but you know everything. I do. I've bought and sold more stuff than you've probably ever owned. I like to hear that. And why do you. What, okay, let's start with your fork. What was you, a rake. I know that. <laughs> Just making sure you knew. I knew this was a rake. Where did you get it? Uh, I have no idea where my wife got it. Okay, and what? So you know we nothing about it. No. What do you want to know? What? How much can you sell how it for? How old is it for? How old is it? Okay. And is it worth anything? So, do you want to know if you could sell it? How much you'd get if you had okay. to insure it and it burned up in a fire? How much you'd get? That'd or, be good. See, there's different prices for different things. So if you were going to sell this, okay, now to me, this looks like a decorative break made probably in the early 20th century that probably didn't see any use out in the field. Oh, okay. Because you look, there's no rust, there's no wear on any of this. So it was not used, it was not made to be used. It was made to be hung on a wall in a cracker done. barrel or someplace like that. Potentially even made as late as the 1970s, okay? Oh, okay. No way to judge age with the wood like this, but I'm guessing with no wear, no rust, that it can't be any earlier than the 70s. Now, let's just talk about this fork. Where did this come from? Uh, that came from my grandfather's uh, farm out in uh, White Cloth. Big difference. See, now you're telling me a story. I now know how old this is, and I'm pretty sure I know that it's an authentic piece, as you said, made out of a single piece of wood, split, and uh, time. So, and again, with just the simple uh, pit, peg through the whole thing to keep it secure, um, it's a work of art, but it was also used. So yes. you have a double value. I would say in a good auction, this could probably bring $250. Really? This okay. could probably bring $25. So between the two of them, which one would you choose? To keep? Yeah. I'm keeping both of them. There you go. <laughs> and now you're the winner. Okay. $250. I would guess in a good auction. Okay. For insurance value, put it in your insurance homeowner's policy at $500. Because that's how much it would cost for them to go get you another one that nice. We got one other piece, and I have no idea what that's all about. This is a wood clamp. You would put two pieces of wood here with glue on them, and you would screw them together in order to keep it tight. Well, yeah, and I noticed that the two screws here are wood. Yes. I, I thought that made 
they're old. They are old. They don't use these anymore. Everything's metal now. Right, right. So I would say that you see these at antique shows at around seventy-five dollars each, with all the all wood. Oh, okay. Okay. And they make them in all different sizes too. Big, little, uh, tiny. At seventy-five, two fifty, and twenty-five. Yep. Oh, right. Someone's going home a winner. <laughs> that's the way you go. I'm squeezing your head. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for coming and having play in the game today. Oh, uh, yeah, so you're going to sell that stuff or what? No, uh, she won't let me sell it all. <laughs> I got much more stuff in here. I can make a lot of money, but she's not going to let me sell it. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Well, Russ, do you think you could swim away and find a babe on the beach? Watch this. All right. I'm going to have to get my shirt and shorts. All right, all right. Can't go like that. Yeah, that's true. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, Doc. All right. Russ, are you there? Yep, I'm here. Take yep. it away. Hi, everybody. We're out here on 7th Avenue in Seaside, and the water is beautiful. The sun is beautiful. There's very few clouds overhead, and... Uh, Look who I found over here. And what's your name? Janine. Janine, okay. Where are you from? Tom's River. Tom's River. How yeah. often do you come down here? Um, not too often. <laughs> not too often. What are you doing for a living? Um, I'm still a student at Rowan. I'm an accounting major. Accounting? Uh-oh. Here go the taxes again. <laughs> no, that's good. Um, anything else we should know? Um... I work at Rita's Italian Ice in Tom's I, River and Rowan. I knew there was something else. I knew there was something else. <laughs> yeah. Rita's Italian I, My wife loves that place. Yeah, it's good. I like it too. It's good. <laughs> yep. So what, what's the most popular thing there? Um, probably the mango Italian ice. Really? Yep. That's our most popular flavor. Oh, I'm sorry. I like, you don't like that one? <laughs> I'm into um, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Like uh, pistachio? Yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, you got it. That's my dad's favorite. Regular. <laughs> but the wife likes uh, her yogurt and she likes everything else. And we do go there once in a while. I, I probably saw you. Yeah, I've been there forever. So oh, forever you've, you've, you've definitely seen me. That's a long time forever. It's my seventh season. <laughs> seventh season? Yeah, I go home from school and I work there. Okay, that's very good. Yeah. It's open all year. What was that? It's, it's open op all it's, year. Um, we closed from like February to... March maybe. So that's good. Everybody yeah, gets some kind of break. Yeah. Or we're usually at. We actually reopen in February. We close in November. That's yeah. Good. That's, that's what it is. That's what it. Now she knows when she's off. <laughs> yeah. It gets confusing. Because I'm at school during that time, so. All right. That's good. Yeah. That's good. All right. So um, how long are you going to stay down here? Until what time, roughly? Um, maybe three. We that's just got good. here. Very good. So yeah. You're not you're not burnt yet. No. But in weather like this, you could be burnt. Yeah. No, Hopefully I, I, not. <laughs> I like your bathing suit. Thank you. It's, it's a nice bathing suit. What I can see is very nice. Uh, could you give us a twirl? A twirl? Look at that. That's, <laughs> isn't that a beautiful bathing suit? I like that bathing suit. Well, thank you very much, Jimmy. Thank you. We appreciate it. Have thank a great you. day. got to swim back, don't I? Yeah, you got to swim back. To swim away, you got to swim back. <laughs> swim back. Oh, these are not on my back. And that was a very nice young lady. I thought so. Which they always are, Russ. I don't know how you do it. You, I, I try. I gotta be very yeah. thick. Yeah, no, you find them. And uh, it would not be a, a complete week without Frankie T and the joke of the week. Take it away, Frankie. Frankie T with the joke of the week. Did you ever have a question that you knew you shouldn't ask, but you do? Well, I asked my wife of over 40 years, how many men have you slept with? And she said, Frankie T, my darling, you're the only man I've ever slept with. I was wide awake with all the others. <laughs> oh, that's Frankie. <laughs> how did you do that? <laughs> oh, man, he's good. This was actually a funny show. <laughs> I thought we did pretty good too. <laughs> no, it's a good show tonight, this week, people. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, and with that, uh, have a good week. Take care, everybody. Enjoy.